time has been tough and um, prices of maize are, are just on the roof. We're talking about 6,000, 6,500 shillings a bag. So it's, it's, it's tough to, to, to make a commitment from a position of um, uh, RRP. But we are always here to talk to Naivas to see how we use our own money as uh, suppliers to be able to subsidize whatever prices that are in the market. So uh, um, it's the commercial teams from both entities to be able to sit and be able to give an exciting offer to, 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 to our customers. So something should be cooking in the next uh, week or so. Yeah, um, I know the government has been speaking very strongly about uh, importation of maize. Um, as it stands now, the international prices of maize are very, very high. And in fact, some destinations that normally give us maize have actually blocked the likes of Mexico, you know, uh, to be able to, for internal consumption. So prices are generally higher across the globe. And it would be very, very difficult for the government to actually land that bag of maize here at, at uh, less than 6,000 shillings. That's why you see uh, the talk of... Um, Government speaking of people probably moving to more of rice, you know, alternative staples as opposed to your staple food that is ugali. Um, so, in, indeed, given where the times are, given where the market, the global market is, it's very hard to, to actually land that bag of maize at less than 6,000 shillings at the moment. My name is Willie Kimani, I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Naiva Supermarket. Typically speaking, other previous years, normal supermarkets will have actually been launching an Easter campaign. And the Easter campaign will have been having an offer for offer for, uh, fr uh, Easter Friday. Possibly will have been having a, a winner car competition or something like that. But these times are different. We are talking about seasons that have actually failed for 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 the rain seasons that have actually that have failed. We're talking about an inflation-driven environment, and that is why what we decided to do was to actually have a long campaign that clearly comes and understands and goes way deeper. So what are we doing? As Naivas, you are going to the actual basket and saying every week we shall be having, as we go to our stores, orange sticker and also in our displays where you'll find very deep offers of key commodity items. What you're doing is making sure that every Kenyan is able to save, you're able to go. We want to be referenced that yes, indeed, prices are actually lower because of the prices that you're actually seeing in the market, because the actual way lower prices. What does this entail? It entails us giving away even our own margin for the sake of Kenyans during these tough times. It's not easy. We do understand that uh, there are very many macroeconomic issues that are actually driving this particular environment. But for us, the question that was there was, what will we do? And that's the reason why we actually went in, got good partners, our, our, our supplier partners like our, our Unga Group and um, other companies that we have all come together and you're saying we are going to work together. We are going to, as much as possible, create a better basket, increase that basket so that we start changing that narrative. You know, things are thick. What can we do? Let's start with this is what we are doing to the best of our ability. This is why Kikapu, Kibonge came up from. And, as, as, uh, and, and, and what we have actually seen also is that Typically speaking, other years, we'll have actually been looking at around 10.1 items in a basket. As we speak right now, we are talking about around uh, 9.2, 9.3 items in a basket. We, it tells you people are down trading. And even within that basket, you can clearly tell the 1,000 ml now becoming a 500 ml. Because largely so, the income for Kenyan has remained constant, but the prices have actually gone up. And that is where as a national duty, it calls us to do something. This is us doing something. And we hope that not only us, but generally all other companies can also follow suit and be able to give Kenyans a better experience. As we say, we are a Kenyan-grown business. We feel it every day Kenyan-wise. And when a Kenyan customer is not there where he needs to be, then we are actually all struggling. It's not all about profit. At times, it's all about asking yourself, are people sleeping hungry? Are people having less items in the basket? Are, are they cleaning the normal way? How can we ease that burden? And that is where neighbors we are coming up and saying, it's a long bit. And please check out, and this runs across all the way uh, in all our 92 stores, including our e-commerce store, where we are giving all our best offers day by day, including regional products, the regional Mombasa product that actually 
uh, wins there, if it's, uh, it's a FATS and all that actually wins there, if it's in central province. So we have also not, we are, we are doing it as a national and a regional campaign to make sure that we actually get Kenyan customers to be able to enjoy the festivities. The